it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so I'm doing another unboxing of some items from One Day Saving. Uh, they contacted me again and asked me or offered for me to pick out some of their items for me to review and share them with you to, so you can see what the items look like, how they're packaged. I picked out five, no, six items, and these are new to me items. I did not know that one day saving if you don't know if you're not familiar with one day saving uh they do have diamond painting products but they also have cross stitch products and so if you're into cross stitch items over more than than diamond painting items go ahead and check them out because they do have quite a uh, quite a lot of different designs to, to choose from. Okay, so the first thing I chose is I'm a sucker for pictures that have anything to do with crafting. And when I saw this kit, I just had to, I had to get it. And so all of their cross stitch kits come in these nice resealable plastic uh, envelope type, uh, not envelope, but resealable bags. <laughs> okay, they all come really nicely packaged. Okay, so this one, like I said, I'm a sucker for, for anything that has got pictures of craft-related craft items. And so here is the, um, the first item that I picked. It is uh, it's called, the, it, well, the name of it is called The Kitten Beside the Sewing Machine. Yeah, but look at it. It is so cute. Look at all those kittens. And there's some balls of yarn right there with knitting needles. And all those little kittens, aren't they cute? And then of course, I love the old fashioned sewing machine and there's spools of thread and there's an embroidery hoop with cross stitch, you know, like embroidery picture on it. There's a pin cushion right there. I just thought they were so cute. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you. This is a stamped cross stitch. So the image is stamped on the fabric. Uh, this one in particular is a 14 count fabric, if you're familiar with cross stitch, okay? The smaller the number, the bigger the, the weave of the fabric is and the bigger the holes, okay? So like an 11 count would be, uh, have bigger holes, you know. Uh, a larger weave, uh, and a, a 22 count would have would be a finer fabric, but it'd be real tiny holes to stitch into. Okay, so like I said, this one is a 14 count, about mi medium, medium size, and uh, I just, like I said, I thought it was so cute, so I just had to get it. Okay, so this is a large picture. Um, it says, now it does have on the the outside of the package is 35 by 52, and that is in centimeters. Uh, on their website, it's listed, I think, below the image. It's listed the centimeters, you know, like the dimensions, but in centimeters. Uh, but if you look at the description and scroll down on the particular item, I believe it has it in inches, yeah, in the description. But also, you, of course, you could just convert the numbers yourself into inches if you're more familiar with the inches versus uh, centimeters. But anyway, here is the <laughs> the um, picture. <laughs> and so, uh, let me just put it down here right quick, and I'll tell you about the dimensions. It's about 11 and a half inches uh, wide this way, and uh, roughly... Oh, about 17 uh, top to bottom, okay, between this, this border, okay. So here is the picture. I know the colors look really strange, but that's just how they do the color coding to help you know what colors to use, okay. Uh, there is a legend here at the bottom that's got the symbols and things to tell you what number of floss to use. Uh, it, now, it does come with, if, if this, these, brighter colors if that intimidates you as far as uh not liking to read read the chart um just look at the cloth to just uh, to find out what color you're supposed to use <laughs> it also comes with a chart and it's in sections but this chart has got more like true to life colors and as you can see it's got symbols and things on here and then you can look on the back here and it's got the grid that tells you what color number to use you know what floss to use <laughs> okay so see it's in sections so it's a nice big grid be easy to follow okay um 
so let me show you the floss the floss comes here is all the floss you're supposed to use it comes wrapped around this card okay that's got holes in it and see each one are um tied into each of these holes and the holes are labeled uh let's see number one here all the way to 15 on that side and then 16 to 30 but this particular uh, project has 25 colors okay and you can see like this white there must be a whole lot of white that i'm going to be doing and so there's more of this than some of the other uh, colors okay so that is the first kit oh there's also a little ziploc baggie here that's uh, uh stapled onto the card and it has two embroidery needles in there that comes with the kit that you can use okay so that is the first one now this is a big picture so uh it'll probably take me a long time to do it <laughs> but uh i think it's going to be really cute uh now all this other writing and everything if you're familiar with stamped cross stitch um when you're finished with now i have never i've never done it but i've seen videos it shows what you do uh, after you um do the stitching on it okay i've only done county cross stitch before but on the stamped cross stitch it's got the image on there after you finish then uh, there's directions on what you're supposed to do and there's youtube videos that you can look up also to tell you but you soak it and all this uh this uh, ink or whatever the paint is that they stamp the image it all comes out and then you don't see any of that anymore what remains is just your stitching okay okay so that is the first one that i picked out okay the next one my uh my son and daughter-in-law went to europe this is before grandbaby was born and um i picked this one out for her because i thought she would enjoy this kit um and it is let me pick it out pull it out here it is a cross stitch and it's stamped cross stitch like the other no it's not i'm sorry this one is a county cross stitch okay so this one is this is the london cityscape okay so because they went to london on part of their european travels okay and so uh i thought this was such a cute picture i thought she would enjoy that um yeah a special way to remember uh places that you've been <laughs> okay so here is the chart it's two-sided so you have this side and then you, here's the rest of it and it has the legend what what colors i mean yeah what colors the number of colors to use for which one uh this one is a 14 count uh fabric as well okay and like i said this one is not a stamped cross stitch this one is a counted cross stitch so it comes with the 14 count cloth that you're supposed to use and get it out here but see it's blank and so as you can see this image is a smaller picture this one says 27 inch uh, 27 by 21 centimeters so i'm i'm it's approximately nine inches by nine by 11 inches the fabric of course there'll be you know there'll be a little bit of a border around it um but anyway so this one is a county cross stitch if you like county cross stitch over stamp stamped cross stitch here's all the different colors isn't there some pretty colors that it comes with and it comes on the card that's all numbered the they're labeled so that way you'll know what co what number is for what color <laughs> it comes with uh, the little bag uh stapled on there that's got two embroidery needles on there to help you uh to, for you to use in the kit okay and so that's that kit uh, like i said here is the grid you just follow this and it tells you the symbols you then you look on the legend to see what um, thread to use for that um part <laughs> okay so see here again is the image of the london cityscape okay the next i have three more pictures to show you now this is kind of a kit set uh, well they're kits but it's kind of a set that i thought was would be really cute together now i have in the in part of my kitchen one end of my kitchen uh i it used to be like a breakfast nook area but i turned it into like a coffee bar type area 
okay? It's real small. Um, yeah, it's a real small area. And instead of having table chairs, I did have a table and chairs in there, but it was very crowded in that area. And I've already got a dining room table I, we always use anyway. And so we took that out, We the table and chairs in that little small little nook turned into a coffee area. I have a couple of paintings in there that my, my uh, son did. Uh, who's an artist and he did me some paintings that were like coffee themed and I've got that on one of the walls but I've got some windows on the end there of the room that's got places in um places of wall <laughs> in between the windows <laughs> I guess you'd say anyway I saw these and I thought they were such cute kits and I thought they would be perfect for that area okay so the first one it says teacup two teacup or number two so i guess it was a series so this one is this teacup here isn't that cute now this is stamped cross stitch it's a this is a small picture uh it is 14 count 15 by 15 centimeters so it's a square picture okay let me pull it out here the image is stamped on like i said but look how small it is see it's just five inches by five inches i believe that's what it is five by five uh now actually it's a little it's less than that it's about oh four and a half by four and a half or something anyway i just thought it was so cute and of course it's not going to be this color it will look like this okay <laughs> and uh there is the chart if you want to read the chart instead of going on the colors that are stamped on the image again all this washes off after you do the stitching and then you soak it in water and all this ink comes off um, and then it just leaves your your cross stitch piece um, but I just thought it was really cute and of course this says with love right there and it's got like it's like a little tea bag because I do like to drink hot tea as well <laughs> uh, same as the other kits it comes with the the embroidery floss that you need to use they're all labeled what by number uh, it comes with some needles to do the work with okay and so there is that one and then I found that they had this this image and I thought oh well this is it matches it's just, it's part of a set and this one is called teacup number three let me get this one out of the package see so it's got the same design as the first one. Let me hold this one up so you can see it. See, you can see them together. Won't that be cute? Well, like a one on either side of the window, I was thinking. But they're really small, so I might put them, you know, like top to bottom or something, you know, or on the same the same wall or something. I don't know. But anyway, I thought they were really cute. This one, of course, says um, tea time on the little coffee bag there. Uh, but I just thought it was so cute. And the fact it's got the same flower on both of them. And it's really cute. Okay. So this one is the same as the first one. It is stamped. Um, the stamped cross stitch. You know, here it is right there. And it's small. Um, here's the embroidery floss. It comes with the needles that you need. And it does come with the chart as well. If you prefer to follow the chart. Okay, and then it's got the, the uh, key or whatever you call it there that tells you what each number is, which one is for what. <laughs> okay, so there is the second kit. Oh, they're so cute. And then I saw this one and I thought, oh, well, this one would work well with this set too. It's not, it's not exactly, it's not part of the series. Um, this one says teacup two this one says teacup three so i don't know if there's a teacup number one i did not see one on the the their website but i did see this picture and i thought this one would harmonize well with that and it's this right here isn't that cute oh, i love those pansies this one is called this tea set <laughs> and it looks like it's got this is a tea this is tea it's got a tea bag there but this one i'm gonna say that this one's coffee since i have a coffee station so but isn't that cute i just thought this was so cute now this one is a little bit bigger picture this one is 21 by 16 centimeters and here you here you can see it's very similar. I mean, it's small like the other ones, but um, it's a little bit different sized. But I just thought all of these together, you know, 
would just look so cute in my kitchen area there that I have my coffee uh, station in. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, same thing. Same thing. It comes with the. Uh, it comes with a chart right there, and it comes with the. You know, it's got the legend of what colors to use for what number. Um, it comes with the thread wrapped on one of the cards. Let me pull that out. I just unwrapped it, but it there, <laughs> and they are all numbered as to. Uh, on this side, they're numbered as to what color is what, <laughs> so that way you can keep them all separated. It does, they did send me uh, some more embroidery needles, so there you go. I think that's it, yeah, yeah. So that is, I just love these sets. I think they're so cute. It's probably gonna take me a while to do them, I'm sure, but <laughs> it's it's just fun to change up my crafting uh, projects at times and so sometimes I'll do diamond paintings sometimes uh, uh well most of the time I'm crocheting but I do like to take a little bit of a break have my hands do something a little bit different and um, diamond painting and now like I said I am starting to do some cross stitch I used to do cross stitch quite a while ago and uh, I just thought I would um try it out and get back into it. And I remember why I liked it. <laughs> okay. And so one more item I did order or, or request for them to send me so that I could review. And it is a pin cushion. Now you can't pick the design. There are several designs and you just, it's just like a random thing. So you, you can't pick the design, but they're all pretty. They're all really pretty floral prints. Uh, the reason I picked it is because it's got this wood base on the bottom so it sits really nice and um pins fit in here very well they stick in see they stick in really well uh now i did try to use some of my uh darning needles that i like when i weave in yarn and now if the knee if the tip is really sharp then it will go in go in if the tip is blunt like a blunt needle a yarn needle then it won't fit um, or I wasn't able to get them to stick in here, but it works well for me because the darning needles that I like to use is the sharp tip ones and, and they work fine. Uh, I'm looking to see it. I guess I don't have any in here at the moment. They're all in the other room, but the idea is why I picked this out. Another reason is because I have a whip cart that is metal. And I was thinking that if I put a, uh, get a strong magnet to put on and, and to like super glue it on the back of this wood base since it's flat that it would fit on my little uh, whip carts down here but it would fit on my whip cart like on the side you know where I have like my tools and different things and I just thought it would be cute that you know if it was it had a magnet on there that you could stick it on there and then it would hold your um, embroidery needles or darning needles or whatever you want to use as long as it's a sharp tip they will work <laughs> anyway I just thought it, they were really cute and like I said you can't pick the design but they're all floral designs and they're all pretty so okay so that is my um the items that I picked to review from One Day Saving for the cross stitch products that I wanted to try. And I'm very happy with their products. I love the packaging, uh, the shipping. It came, it came pretty fast. Um, yeah, it came, yeah, I was, I'm real happy with all of it. So, uh, I hope that you will check it out if you are interested in cross stitching. If you want to look at their products for cross stitching or if you want to look at their products for diamond painting, I think you would be quite happy with the things that they have. Um, the, I have, do have a discount code. I'll put it down below. I will link all these products below, uh, a link to them. Uh, now, two of these items, when I was checking the links, two of them, if it, you click on it and it'll say page not found, it's because at the, at, I was, I asked them about it. And so they said, no, the link is fine. It's just the fact that those two items are, were out of stock at the moment. But as soon as they come back into stock, then those links will work. Uh, but I will put them on, I will, I will put them in the description box as well. I believe it was for, it was for, whoop, it was for one of the teapots, teacups, one of these, one of them, they have, one of them is out of stock at the moment, uh, and the, this tea, the teapot one, but they have wonderful items, a whole bunch of different products, and I am sure that they will be in stock 
as soon as possible if you like that particular product. Okay, so I will put a bunch of links down below in the description box. And like I said, I do have a discount code is what I was going to say. And then I went off on something else. <laughs> but I do have a discount code and it is YarnJoy05 off. And I will put it down below in the description box. Make sure that you put that code in there exactly the way it's written. No spaces with the capital letters where they're supposed to be and all that. And then you will get 5% off. And that discount code should work anytime. Okay, so thank you One Day Saving for allowing me to look at some more of your products. And thank you for watching. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.